Today we are going to demonstrate the Atterberg limit test method used to determine the liquid limit and plastic limit in accordance with ASTM D4318. This video will cover the process of Atterberg limit test for a given fine grain soil sample. Liquid limit test The soil sample must be pulverized and passed to number 40 sieve to remove all large particles. Make sure to calibrate the drop of the cup using the other end of the grooving tool so that there is a consistency in the height of drop. Put about 250 grams of air dried soil into an evaporating dish and add a little water with a plastic squeeze bottle to form a uniform paste. Place the soil in the Casagrande's cup and using a spatula smoothen the surface so that the maximum depth is about 8 mm. Using the grooving tool, cut a groove at the center line of the soil cup. Crank the device at a rate of 2 revolutions per second until there is a clear visible closure of half an inch or 12.7 mm in the soil pad placed in the cup. Count the number of blows that cause the closure. If the count is in between 15 to 40, collect the sample from the closed part of the cup using a spatula and determine the water content. Repeat the test for different blow counts by drying sample or mixing more water. For each trial, we will get the different blow count. Take a moisture can for each trial, measure the weight of it. Take some moist sample in that moisture can and measure the weight. Put the moisture can in the oven for 24 hours. After that, measure the weight again. Determine the moisture content. Plot the water content versus number of blows in a semi-log graph paper. Fit the data with a straight line. From the fitted line, find the water content for 25 blows. That will be the liquid limit of that soil sample. You can also determine the flow index from the slope of the line. Plastic limit test. Take approximately 20 grams of dry soil and mix some amount of water from the plastic squeeze bottle. Take a small handful of fine grain soil, mix with some water and place them on a glass plate. Roll this mixture on the glass plate using the palm of your hand until the soil is about 1 8 inch in diameter. The soil is then rolled up into a ball and the process is repeated until the soil begins to crumble before becoming a thread. Collect the crumpled sample and determine the water content. Determine the water content of the crumpled soil sample for three trials. Plastic limit will be the average of the three trials. Thus, the liquid limit and plastic limit of soil samples can be determined.